in order to understand the dhamma the teachings of the supreme buddha we have to understand who the buddha was for this we have to appreciate his nine great qualities this is the process of developing an unshakable faith in buddha in this video i'm going to tell you i'm going to describe you the nine qualities of the buddha okay first and first uh, let's start uh, with the first quality okay which is arahant arahant is the term used to describe a person who has rid himself of all impurities of the mind ill will anger jealousy sadness desire lust delusion greed and other defilements of the mind and arahant also does not have any attachment to six faculties that form all that a human being experiences the eye ear nose tongue body mind and has therefore extinguished all roots of unwholesome thoughts and action and arahant is not reborn in any world after death he has escaped the circle of rebirth and suffering known as samsara the supreme buddha attained this state without any teacher he then went on to teach the dhamma and many of his disciples also became arahants through his guidelines there is no other teacher with this quality the second quality of our teacher is samma sambuddho which describes how the supreme buddha understood the four noble truths without any teacher the four noble truths explain the reality of life life is suffering the cause of suffering the cessation of suffering and the path to the cessation of suffering he understood the four noble truths in great detail when contemplating the four sights he had seen as prince siddhartha gotama the old man the sick man the dead body and funeral house and the holy man as well we may see sights like these on daily basis whether on tv or in front of us but we would not stop to think that all age sicknesses and death are guaranteed to happen to all of us in one form or another these inevitabilities of life create immense suffering to us because we have not realized the four noble truths supreme buddha gained knowledge of this by himself the third quality vidya charana sampanna is translated as through a clear knowledge exemplary conduct and compassion the prince siddhartha gotama developed three kinds of knowledge during his meditative state under the bo tree and realized these as he became the buddha firstly the buddha could recall his previous birth and trace back through all his previous existence he was then able to extend this vision to trace back through the previous birth of all other beings with this knowledge of a great teacher became aware that the journey through samsara was long the second knowledge was the ability to see the past in a way and reappearing of beings and the process in which this happens therefore the ongoing circle of death and rebirth the third knowledge was that of destroying all defilements and attachments and therefore liberation from samsara it is important we understand clearly about these unique virtues of buddha which he developed through intensive concentration and excellence wisdom so means correct path gata means followed 
Therefore, the fourth quality describes how the Supreme Buddha followed the correct path, the noble eightfold path, and achieve the bliss of Nibbana, ultimate cessation from suffering. Therefore, our teacher not only found for himself the cause of suffering that all beings go through, but also found the path that led to the cessation of this suffering. He described the path in great detail so that everyone could follow it. This is another quality unique to him. Anuttaro Purisa Dhamma Sarati The sixth quality is as follows. Anuttaro means unsurpassed. Oh, there is no one else. Purisadam Sarati means individuals to be tamed by the gift of the Dhamma from our leader. So putting these terms together, this quality describes the Buddha as an incomparable leader who is able to tame individuals by bringing them the Dhamma. In the time of the Buddha, there are examples of terrifying beings such as Angulimala, whom the Buddha so had the capacity to realize the Dhamma. And he was able to then pursue to follow the Dhamma and some their previous evil ways. The way Buddha can tame individuals is with his unique wisdom virtue, compassion, and concentration. Through the Dhamma, we see the Supreme Buddha every day. Supreme Buddha. Even today, through the Dhamma, we learn to tame our own wayward's ways. Satta Deva Manusana The seven qualities Satta Deva Manusana means the teacher of deities and humans. It is important that we understand that our great teacher not only communicated with and taught human beings, but he also taught beings existing in the realm of deities. Therefore, the Dhamma also exists in the heavenly worlds. The Supreme Buddha had a remarkable techniques of teaching according to the caliber and mentality of the beings who was being taught. He was able to instruct everyone appropriately in this way about following the correct path. He showed humans that we can also reach the heavenly realm by following the Noble Eightfold Path and having an unshakable faith in the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. The eight quality Buddha means one who has understood the Four Noble Truths without anyone's help and is able to proclaim the Dhamma to others. Although this appears to reiterate the second great quality, it has its own distinction. Here describes a master who has an extraordinary ability to convince others of his discovery and the art of teaching his Dhamma. The nine quality Bhagava means the blessed one. He was the most fortunate and liberated being to have conquered all evils and taught the Dhamma and to have been endowed with superhuman intellectual abilities. He is the one and only teacher to have held all these nine qualities. We can see the evidence of these qualities in the Dhamma and develop our unshakable faith in the Buddha. May we all realize the Four Noble Truths and be freed from suffering.